In this video, we will be taking a look at Techquipment's cooling towers experiment that demonstrates the operation characteristics of an evaporative cooling tower. Feel free to ask your questions in the comments below. In the real world, what might first come to mind are the cooling towers of a power plant. Cooling using evaporation is also used in heating, ventilation and air conditioning devices and for disposing of unwanted heat from chillers. In all of these cases, the cooling tower acts as a specialised heat exchanger in which air and water are brought into direct contact with each other in order to reduce the water's temperature. As this occurs, a small volume of water is evaporated, reducing the temperature of the water being circulated through the tower. Techquipment engineer Kinea has joined me today to explain the experiment in more detail. This low maintenance bench mounted product contains a heated water tank, a pump, a centrifugal fan and an instrument panel. The cooling columns fit securely to a heated water tank. These are made from high grade clear acrylic material, which means you can see everything going on the inside, specifically the water distribution around the packing arrangement. This cooling tower with a packing density of 110 square meters per cubic meters comes as standard for base experimentation. For more advanced studies, you can purchase extra towers with different densities, including one with additional relative humidity and temperature sensors. These are spaced throughout the packing for more in-depth studies. A constant water temperature is achieved by electronic controller throughout the tests. The centrifugal pump delivers the heated water to a spray nozzle at the top of the column. The water sprays into the tower, passing over the packing inside the column, returning to the water tank. The fan directs air upwards through the column in counterflow to the water, extracting the heat. Electronic sensors measure the air and water flow, humidity, pressures and temperatures at key points. These are shown on clear multi-line displays which give all the measurements needed to understand the evaporative cooling tower operation. Over here you can see the controls for the fan and water circuits that allow the students to adjust flow rates for a full range of experiments. This top-up vessel maintains a constant water level in the tank, allowing the amount loss through evaporation to be measured. This product comes with Techquipment's data acquisition software and hardware VDAS built into the product for data capture. The software is available to download from techquipment.com free of charge for anyone to use. Although computer-aided data acquisition is not a requirement to carry out the experiments, it does provide added detail and can save the user time. A psychrometric chart is also included in the software, which plots the real-time state of the system. For more information about the Cooling Towers experiment in the environmental control range from Techquipment, click on the link in the description box below. Don't miss our other videos on the topic as well, including the refrigeration cycle experiment and the air conditioning trainer. Thank you for watching.